Good morning, folks. Today we're going to peek in on a forecast for major tropical activity in the West Pacific and the Indian Ocean. We'll also see two excellent papers on things that have serious impacts on our planet that are not cow farts. But of course, we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star in ultraviolet light from the SDO satellite. Just as we previously identified a dropout of solar flaring, it has returned just as quickly. And so has geomagnetic unrest due to solar wind variability. Luckily, still don't have much in the way of CMEs aimed at Earth, but the flaring has reached back into M-class range and even into the higher regions of M-class range. Luckily, these mostly occurred at the limbs. As we look at the dimmed 131 angstrom view to see the flare flashes, bright points that light up momentarily, those are the solar flares and you can see how they are preferentially over to the side. In addition to having to watch the sunspots for increased activity, we're also seeing a brief geomagnetic storm in play overnight. Don't forget we've got a coronal hole impacting the inner heliosphere at the moment. What came first was the magnetic flip of the solar wind, the phi angle, in blue. Wouldn't be shocked to see faster plasma speed later today or tomorrow reinvigorate that KP index. Moving next to the tropics, we're looking at the Philippines south of center here. This is the West Pacific, with visibility of India and the Northeast Indian Ocean over to the left side as well. Look at the development expected over the next few days, and by the time the big typhoon is approaching the Philippines, got one churning even harder next to India. Potential for major storm events here, we will keep watching. First article today hits the upper atmospheric layers. Interestingly, it uses the incorrect data for the decline in Earth's magnetic field, only about 6% loss, but is still able to identify its impact on the upper reach of the sky. Imagine if they had used the 2010 data of being down 15% or the 25 or more percent down were lost as of now. Alas, the impact of the magnetic pole shift is identified. Last article is this one, showing how the motion of the sun and the planets plays a critical role in, well, just about everything geophysical. Not just the climate, but Earth's tilt and rotation, and the interaction of the solar wind with Earth's magnetic field. Solid article there. I'm looking forward to seeing some of you tonight and at our other events coming up. The conference series begins next month as well. I will get you into the top 1% most knowledgeable on the disaster cycle in one day. We'll discuss your location if you have personal specific questions. Book your trip for these events. Come see us. It all starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now it's 5 30 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone